They don't call it wig balling for nothing. That's from the mental breakdown suffered during multiple days in the twilight zone. I remember venturing onto my first serious aid route and how I felt mentally frazzled at the end. I had not concentrated so hard or endured as many terrifying moments in succession as I did on that journey. Heck, I even went off route because I was afraid and couldn't bear the thought of having to climb where I knew the route went. But at the end of that dead road, I put it in reverse, sucked it up, and got back on the right path. Wall climbing is not for the weak-minded nor the faint of heart. Fortunately, there are walls of all sizes and difficulties where the level of commitment and technical expertise you might have can be applied appropriately. Choose accordingly. Back in the day, we used to work through the grades and advance to the next level only after we felt competent of our experience at the previous level. It took years to gain that experience, but you know what? Every wall I ventured onto afterward was a little harder, a little bigger, and a little scarier. Would you jump into the deep end of a pool if you didn't know how to swim? I hope not. Without a solid foundation, you will find yourself gasping for air in the deep end, looking for a way out of the situation you have put yourself in. Knowing what you are setting yourself up for is only gained through practice and experience. With that knowledge and wisdom, you can approach your chosen objectives confidently. You can apply yourself with an earned toolbox full of the finest, well-honed techniques. Relax, understand that it will be tricky, that you are prepared, and most of all, you are setting out to ultimately have fun. Success comes in many forms. To some, it may be standing on the summit. To others, it may be simply completing a pitch in a timely manner. It also could be focusing on maintaining a neat and organized journey which functions like a finely tuned Swiss watch. It might also come in the form of simply being safe, whether you completed the objective or swam for shore shortly after setting sail. There's something to be said for being alive, whether celebrating on the top or wrapping back to the base with your tail tucked between your legs, but able to fight another day. Prepare yourself, for it is a wild ride full of highs and lows. If an intrepid explorer set out already knowing the outcome of his adventure, why would he go at all? Most of all, have fun, be safe, and enjoy the ride.